Good morning, little nerds. Today we are focusing on the best skincare routine for your body because your body has problems too when it comes to your skin and I have solutions for you. Who the hell am I? I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a board certified dermatologist in New York. We do this thing called Pillow Talk every Saturday at 10 a.m. So if you haven't joined the circus yet, subscribe below, like this video, and let me know what you wanna learn more about next week. But today's topic has been highly requested by all of you, but also by the nerds on the Dr. Idris skincare team. So apparently their skin on their body has problems too. So we are offering up solutions today. We're gonna break down this video the same way I would break down the skin of your face by targeting your skin's biggest issues and focusing on products that can help your problems with those issues because that is how you should address the skin all over your body and on your face. But the second important point that I wanna make before jumping in is all the products that we have for our face, we can use on our body. So if you have an excess of products that you never use, take it below the neck and start using it so you don't have products go to waste. The one that you have to be careful for is, is probably more of the retinol, tretinoin, a world because that can be irritating to the skin of your neck and chest especially. So starting with dry skin and eczema prone skin, I tend to lump these two together because if you are eczema prone, you are most likely dry. And if you are dry, you wanna treat your skin as if you were eczema prone. We're gonna start in the shower with a cleansing oil. And this is one of the few times that I like oils. It's for the body. Bioderma has a massive one. It's their Adaderm Cleansing Shower Oil for 30 bucks. It is not gonna overstrip your body. It's gonna keep your skin nice, smooth, and supple. Word to the wise, in the shower, keep the temperature lukewarm. Do not go too high on the temp and minimize using any sort of bar soap all over your body. Save it to the areas on your body where the sun usually doesn't shine. Here and there. Ideally, the sun doesn't shine there. Number two, if you're not into showers, you can buy, Avino has these colloidal oatmeal packets. They're not meant to be consumed orally. They're meant to be sprinkled into a bath and you can soak in this. And this can really be very helpful for your skin because colloidal oatmeal can help your skin when it comes to inflammation and calming things down. And number three, after the shower, you want to seal the deal in when your skin is still moist and supple. Isden has a 10% urea lotion, which is great at maintaining your skin's natural moisturizing factors and keeping your barrier hydrated and smooth. Avino has an eczema therapy itch relief ointment that comes in a jar. I use this all over my babies and then I converted and started using it all over me and my skin has never been happier. And if you wanna take it a step further and really seal the deal in, but you hate the feeling of Vaseline making you feel tacky and sticky, this is one of the most underrated products on the market. Aquaphor has an ointment spray. You can literally spray this all over your body. It has a quick dry time. You will not feel sticky or tacky afterwards, but just word to the wise, Put a towel on the floor if you do not want to have a game of slip and slide and God forbid an injury. So make sure you have something on the floor because it does make the floor slippery if you do not. And last within this category, if you do like Vaseline but you hate the stickiness of it, this is a all over body balm. And the reason I like this is because if you have hard targeted areas and you don't want to put Vaseline all over, it's great at just getting it where you need to get it without having to have Vaseline all over your hands, your face, etc. And it works really nice and it's very easy to carry around. Moving on to keratosis pilaris. Keratosis pilaris is also known as chicken skin. It is the tiny little bumps that occurs on the back of the arms or on the outer or front parts of your legs. It is usually in people who have any sort of asthma, allergies, hay fever, etc. And it can be very irritating and annoying to touch. And when you feel your skin, you wanna be picking at it, which can lead to scarring. The key here is to exfoliate your skin. You can use products for your face, for your body. And I'm gonna start with my own. This is the Dr. Idris Flash Mask. It is a 15% glycolic acid mask. And the beauty with this is that you can pick and choose where you apply it. So you can let it sit on your skin for 15, 30 minutes on your body before jumping into the shower and washing it off. If you, however, prefer to exfoliate while moisturizing, Amlactin has a 12% lactic acid moisturizer. It doesn't smell the best though. So if you're looking for any sort of aromatherapy, it's not gonna come from this, but this will help keep things smooth in the long run. And then if you are traveling, this is a great one. Derma Doctor has their KP 
body peel pads over here, which work really well if you don't wanna be carrying any sort of large liquids in your bags. Small tip, I do do this before applying any sort of self tanner because it allows your self tanner to go on more smoothly without any sort of streaks or any sort of like unwanted lines that you get on your body. The other tip I'm gonna give you guys for KP and only for KP is tretinoin prescription, retinols, retinol, I said that weird, prescription retinols. You can use tretinoin on your arms or legs because the skin can take it better than the face or the neck or the chest. If your arms get inflamed in the process and it's summertime, just be careful because it can be very irritating. Make sure you're following it up with sunscreen in the morning. And if you feel like your arms are getting inflamed, bring it down the same way you would bring it down on your face to several times a week versus every night. But you can try to go wrong and strong on the areas of KP on your body. I would never tell you to go wrong and strong for your face. So that is keratosis pallidoris. Now moving on to acne. Acne is something that we all suffer with, not just on our faces, but on our chest, our backs, and our butts, and this needs to become more normalized. And the way you address acne on the body is through your body care routine. Starting with number one, benzoyl peroxide. This is usually a face wash. You can apply it to your chest or your back. Let it sit on your skin before washing it off so that you have the appropriate skin time with this product and you benefit from the benzoyl peroxide to kill that bacteria causing that acne. Number two, Soft Services actually has a body mask. This is a sulfur clay mask, which is interesting because sulfur is usually used for people with rosacea on their face. But if you're very oily and acne prone and you wanna minimize your oil production, not sweat, oil production, this can be very helpful in minimizing that and using it as a mask for certain areas, most likely the chest or the upper back. And then, Butt knee. Acne on our butts is also something that is very, very normal. Hibiclens is used as an antiseptic for surgeries. You can find them in your local drugstore around next to the pharmacy. You can use it on your butt every day, but do not get it near your eyes or your ears because it can cause a little bit of toxicity there and that's not what you want to do. So when you apply it to your butt, let it sit on your butt for a minute or two to get the benefit from it before rinsing it off and make sure you wash your hands well before you touch your face, your eyes, or your ears. But this one can really help reduce inflammation in the long run. Plus, nice adjunct these two help to minimize body odor by minimizing the bacterial load on your skin. So if you are using these on your pits, it might help with any body odor issues. Now, if you are somebody who goes to the gym and you get really sweaty at the gym, one thing you should all be purchasing is Difference 2% Salicylic Acid Body Spray. This is an exfoliating acid body spray. So if you can't shower right away, psh, psh, put it on the sweaty areas to help make sure that the skin is not getting clogged in that area leading to worsening breakouts but if you do shower you can still use it after the shower before you moisturize to make sure that your skin is being appropriately exfoliated now anti-aging is the last bucket that we all think of as we get older because the skin on our bodies is going to age like the skin on our face the best thing you could do for that is using a retinol shawnee darden just came out with a body reform treatment serum that has two percent gram active retinoids this is really nice it also has vitamin c make sure you are using this i would use it at night and following it up with sunscreen in the morning same as your face so that does not change at all but gold bond also has an age renew retinol overnight body cream for 16 bucks they don't specify the percent of the retinol in it they just say retinol and peptides but for 16 bucks, it's worth a shot. You guys might as well try it. Prescription, I only tell patients who are really used to this or they know they are not sensitive. They can test it out first on their chest before heading into the neck area, but moisturize before you put the prescription because this can be quite irritating on your neck and chest. But you could probably use it on your elbows and knees and get away with it every night as long as you're using sunscreen if you're out in the sun during the day. And last, if you're looking for a firming lotion, Nivea has their coenzyme Q10 skin firming body lotion. They do not claim that this treats cellulite. It does not treat cellulite, but it can help to make your skin slightly firmer over time because of the coenzyme Q10, which is a great antioxidant. I said this all in less than 10 minutes, quickly just for fun. If you're looking to have a body glow, Kapari has their Sun Glaze Body Mist SPF 45. This has been viral all over TikTok. 
It is a glow sunscreen. I would not rely on this as my main form of SPF, not because it's not efficient, but because people are not probably using as much as they need to get the right coverage. So I would wear my normal sunscreen first and then spray this on top for fun so that I could look glowy. And then Copper Tone Glow is another nice one that is cheaper and easy to find as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this short format video. If you did, let me know below. I'm trying to switch things up for you guys, not just in the hair domain, but also in the speed domain. Hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday.